Imagine standing deep within a dense rainforest. The air is thick, the vegetation lush, and sounds don't travel far before fading into the green. Now picture a wide, dry savanna where your voice can carry for miles across open land. These environments do more than shape the scenery. They influence the way people speak. In humid forested regions, languages often favor low-frequency sounds like vowels and nasal tones because these travel better through dense foliage and thick air. Meanwhile, in open, dry areas, higher-pitched sounds and sharp consonants are more common, carrying clearly over longer distances without much interference. Even altitude leaves its mark. In high mountain regions, the thin air makes it harder to produce certain sounds, subtly shifting pronunciation and speech patterns over generations. Some communities living near roaring rivers develop ways of speaking that cut through constant background noise, favoring abrupt, percussive syllables that stand out. These adaptations aren't conscious choices, but fascinating examples of how our surroundings shape the sounds we use every day. Next time you listen to a language, consider the landscape and environment that helped give it voice and character.